Hi viewers, today I'm going to show you another watch from Timex. They really are knocking out some beautiful looking pieces at the moment. And even their um, presentation has improved so much, this is quite a nice box this watch comes in. Kind of maybe inspired by the Christopher Ward boxes. So uh, let's open it up and have a look at this one. Beautiful. This is the Marlin automatic watch and it's another vintage style watch inspired by one of their models from the 60s this was uh, the Marlin from 1969 and this uh, reinterpretation is really lovely so before I go any further I'll just um, go through the specs on this one so here we have a case size of 40 millimeters the thickness is 13 millimeters the lug to lug is 47 millimeters and the lug width is 20 millimeters. It does have a 50 meter water resistance rating and this one is powered by the Myota movement 21 joules, nice dependable accurate movement. But uh, you know this retails at 225 pounds, I suppose that's around about $250 which really is a fantastic price for an automatic watch with this kind of style and execution the fit and finish is really good it has this wonderful box dome crystal it's not sapphire it is acrylic but in a way that kind of gives it that extra vintage charm and that really stunning convex style with that sunburst blue finish now this does come with a green dial as well which really is stunning it's a lovely warm green and looks and just looks really fantastic with that vintage style design and if I'm really honest that's the one I wanted but it's out of stock I don't know when it's going to come in and I'm way too impatient to wait so I just went for this blue one which is still very attractive really nice I might pick up the green one eventually as well. What I really like about this is those sort of boxed markers for the, the Arabic numbers 12, 3, 6 and 9. I mean you can't get any more vintage retro looking than that can you? Really lovely, the way they've been applied onto the dial is perfect. Got a kind of enamel finish to them. Lovely detail, I really think that's done exceptionally well. And then the other markers are all applied as well. And then there's a few loom pips on the hour markers. And the hands are loomed as well. And like I said, the fit and finish for a Timex watch. Forgive me Timex if you're watching this. I've always associated you until this last sort of six months. I've always associated Timex with very plain, dull, boring quartz watches cheap quartz that I would never bother with now. I mean when I was younger I had one or two. Um, but you're clearly doing something right. I mean just look at the uh, the website they're always selling out. They're, they're bringing out so many good designs really attractive and it appears to me that it's one of the few brands that's listening to what the consumer really wants in a watch and this isn't the only one, there are lots of watches that they're bringing out that are clearly inspired by some of the uh, earlier models from the 60s and 70s but that's not a bad thing because that's what people like at the moment and uh, that's why they're selling out so yeah well done to Timex I think they're really doing a good job at the moment and they're continually bringing out some really impressive pieces like this one the only one slight negative I would say is it's a shame the crown isn't signed. I think an unsigned crown always looks a little bit plain and sort of devalues the watch a little bit. It's not a big issue but uh, I would prefer that signed. The rest of the case is all polished and uh, it's got some nice facets to it. It's fairly thick for a, a dress watch but I quite like that. It's a, it's a small case size of 40 millimeters, so it has this really chunky feel 
but I like that. I'm not a big fan of very slim watches. There's no brushed finished areas at all. It's all polished to quite a high sheen. Now it's just a push pull crown, not a screw in crown, but it does hack and the action is really good. It's very slick, not loose or rattly. As you can see there is no date which makes a refreshing change. And let's have a look at the back. It is an exhibition case back. You can see the myota movement. The rotor is decorated slightly. And also the, the leather strap, I just want to mention this because as you can see it's quick release which is great. But they have this stamped on it, the SB Foot Tanning Company. So I looked that up because uh, you don't normally see the uh, manufacturer of the watch strap stamped so obviously like that. So uh, I was quite interested, I had, had a look and read up on the history of this company and uh, they do make very good quality leather products including watch straps obviously and they've been around a long time. They, they were founded in 1872. So quite a nice bit of history on the watch strap. Something that we often overlook but uh, I think that's a nice little touch to use that company and it really is a very good strap. It's a lovely dark brown and feels great. Good stitching on there. And yeah, it's just a very decent strap that is. So okay, I'm going to put it on the wrist and show you how that looks. Yeah, that's great. It's, uh, as you can imagine, it's very comfortable. Strap is wonderful. Sits so well on the wrist and those lugs do curve down and it really hugs the wrist very well. You can see how pronounced that dome is on the crystal. Looks awesome. Okay, let's have a quick look at the loom in the dark. Yeah, it's not bad. It is a dress watch and uh, it's not a big issue to have super bright loom on a dress watch really, but that's not bad at all. Okay, um, I'm just gonna zoom in on that dial now. Let's look at it so we can see that in a bit more detail. Yeah, look at that. I mean, that's so impressive for a watch in this price range. Super crisp printing. A lovely finish on that dial and the handset, again, really well finished. And there you can see those gorgeous retro markers. Very unusual, but really stylish. I do think that is a great feature of this watch. And there I think you can see how that dial curves down to the edge of the watch. Sort of parallel to the curvature of the dome crystal. Nice touch. Even the font they for the uh, markers there, you can see it's a very retro 60s inspired style. That two almost looks like a Z. Bags of character with this watch. Love it. Yeah, you can see a, a date window would definitely have ruined the look of that dial, so I think they made the right choice to omit that. Right, well that's just about it for this one. That's the gorgeous Timex Marlin, inspired by the 1969 model, and they've done a fantastic job with this watch. Really is superb. I do hope you enjoyed looking at this. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.